Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the dedicated to two of mankind's finest achievements: drinking and gaming. So today we are looking at Fentiman's Ginger Beer, which is a botanically brewed ginger beer, um, and we are looking at Zavient's Lichtum Battle Mage, which I got a review copy at PAX. Um, so as we pour, uh, Fentiman's uh, Ginger Beer is fermented. So it does have a little bit of alcohol, but it's negligible. It's, it's about a 1% ABV, not even worth mentioning. So not quite an alcoholic beverage, but uh, Zavian's Lichten Battle Mage isn't quite an indie game. So not quite an indie game and not quite a beer. So this is going to be the not quite indie brew. So we're going to pour. It's got a nice color. I don't expect a head from this because, again, it's, it's more like a soda. Um, and there's not a whole lot, as you can see. Um, it's got a nice color, though. Um, so... I'm gonna get a nice smell here. And that is just like overwhelmingly ginger and just a very small hint of alcohol at the tail end. Um, so we will be back with the game here momentarily um, and we will discuss it and we will discuss this beer or not quite beer. So we will be right back after some movie magic. And we are back. So this is Listen Battle Mage. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it is a first-person shooter with fantasy elements, basically. I mean, it's basically a first-person shooter. You, you're a mage. Um, the entire con It's built with a cry engine, as you can see. It's it's pretty amazing. I apologize for the bit of the, the, the framiness. This is a pre-alpha. I just want to preface that. Um, and I'm in the, in the best resolution that I can get it, where it won't just be too choppy. Um, I have a pretty solid computer, but the graphics card definitely is uh, not quite up to snuff. Um, to play this in anything other than low, at least for right now, I don't, you know, optimization and stuff will come later. So, the main appeal here is that we are a mage. This is going to make mages badass. As you can see, there are no mana bars. Uh, we can literally sit here and, and spam our spells over and over and over and over again. And the spells look amazing. Um, we have this dash backwards. Um, there's no jump. I would definitely like a jump. Um, and let's see if I can do this. So you can actually see the fire burn through things, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, so, I mean, off the bat, I really like the soundtrack. That's a, a save point, basically. Um, it's not open world. It is is going to have levels, I imagine, bosses and all that. Um, so we can switch between fire and ice. Um, ice is definitely pretty overpowered right now. Um, the main appeal to this game, and we'll definitely get into it, um, and you can you know, see forms we can charge it up and, and prepare it um which i think actually causes a little bit more damage um but yeah the, the main thing is we can make our own spells i think it's going to be the, the thing that a lot of people are going to really like about this game um so we'll just get into it um so i can show off combat combat is honestly a little i don't want to say clunky as, as i said before i'm never going to do a, an indie brew of a game that i'm oh yeah and the shadows are really well done um Never, I never, I, I'm never going to do a game that I, I hate or think is bad, but um, this is definitely a pre-alpha, and, and it definitely shows. So um, that is our first enemy. We had to get like this little barrier around, and it's not hard. Um, and this is what I mean by clunky. Um, so he's going to come up, and we're going to dash back, and we're going to freeze him. As you can see, our dash does like an AoE effect around us. Um, we can overcharge our spells to create an AoE spell. Um, which is a lot of damage. Um, so that's cool. We can shift and run. As I said, the game really looks good. Um, and I really like the AoE spell. I, you know, if, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I'm, I'm a big fan. Spells have homing. You can make ho spells do better homing or worse homing. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, snipe, basically. Um, yeah, if, if you're a fan of, or a friend of, or a fan of my channel, you know I'm, I, I usually play... Uh, ranged casters and pretty much everything I play. Um, I played, you know, cleric and mage, our priest and mage and wow. Every every game I usually go for the ma the mage option. And but the main thing with mages is they're always kind of weak. Um, and this game kind of is is going to change that paradigm or try or, or you know attempt to. And it I, it feels like I'm a pretty big badass. Um, I really like the the kind of like the slow down with our um our dash. I think it's pretty cool. You can kind of see that with that spell. Um, like I said, I, I, I think... And we actually took some damage there. Um, or we have shields instead of health. Um, we can, you know, regen shields and shield stations. Um, we will pick up items 
which will help us craft spells. I will do that, definitely. Um, this is the guy that we don't want to get hit by, as you might imagine, with that gigantic... that axe. Um, we can bring up this shield and mitigate a lot of the damage, but I don't want to, you know, I'd rather just not take damage if I can avoid it. Um, so, ice definitely does a little bit less damage than fire um, to compensate, but it, it's it's still pretty... Or actually, no, it's, it's not. Um, so yeah, that's one of the items that I was talking about. Uh, we got a persistent barrier pattern, which will help us, you know... Um, we can also hit tab to go into this AoE mode, and then it's the same. Um, basically, um, but it, you know, fire really kind of does this nice burn effect. Um, up there is that shield restore point. Um, the game kind of makes me think a little bit of Metroid, uh, Prime, just in it's kind of like this ruined aesthetics. Um, I will say, like, looking around with a character feels kind of sluggish, and I, I put up sensitivity way up. Um, so I'm not too pleased with that. Again, it's the cry engine, so it's, it's, it's really, you know, graphically intensive. Um, and it definitely shows. I mean, this is on low. Um, we will bring our shields up. If this is on low, um, and it looks just, it looks magnificent. Um, so I'm going to take my first drink of the beer. I, I went with this beer, um, because it's a ginger beer, um, and I'm, I'm still kind of getting over the Pax Pox, so cheers, folks. So ginger beer, um, has a nice spicy kick. Um, I don't, if you don't like ginger, you're not, you're not gonna enjoy this. It smells like a ginger, it smells like candy ginger, which I eat, just raw. I like candy ginger as an actual candy, so, um, this is good for sore throats, um, I get a very small bit of alcohol at the end. Again, it's not really a beer, it's more like a soda, but it's made with fermented ginger and other botanicals so there is a little alcohol in this um and i said that um this game is not quite made by an indie company it's good that is good um I, when i went to pax they had one of the largest booths and they were in the non kind of indie section so i don't i don't know how they classify themselves um I was under the impression, and we are going to hit that and break it, and we will get a couple of these these uh, patterns, basically. Um, this is the storyline. I'm I'm just going to, you know, open it up. Um, and again, remember this is a pre-alpha. You're going to see some, yeah, that, like, artifacting and weird graphical stuff going on. Um, I guess our character is named Dragon. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, <clears throat> this is pre-alpha 1 as well, so... Um, you know, keep, again, keep that in mind. I am going to do, go through them, um, because we will get some, some patterns. Um, and we can go into our inventory, and we will look at that now. Um, this is under construction, I don't know, I don't even know what it is. Um, so we can equip different items here. Um, I imagine this is going to be our third spell slot. This is always me, fire, and ice. I'm, I think we can change it out later. <coughs> um, so this is how we craft spells. Synthesizing, basically. Our, yeah. <laughs> so this is how we improve our items. Um, so I'm going to show that off, and then I'm going to craft, and then I'm going to equip. Magnificent. There's another uh, ginger beer that I want to do called Krabby's. So destruction is damage, as you can see. Um, I'm pretty sure mastery is like charge time, and, and con our control is charge time, and mastery is just like makes it better. Um... So we're going to make an uncommon augment, um, and we will synthesize. So we have a choice, and I would love to see this this um, not be quite so bland, this select item. Um, we are going to take the uncommon shape changed target pattern, um, and it is, you know, one augment slot, which we've seen, um, and 9% casting time. Um, so we are going to craft, <clears throat> we're going to make two, um, and... We will, um, go from there. It, there are tutorials for this. Um, so I'm going to do ba barrier pattern, barrier pattern, barrier pattern. Um, and we'll see how, if we can get a better shield. I imagine we'll be able to unlock these. We can't use them right now. Um, so I'm going to do volatile battle pattern. 
um, just to see how that goes. So we have this persistent vol persistent pattern, and I'm pretty sure we can go here. And these are the spells that we can make, and we're going to try to make that. Um, so in crafting, we don't have other spells except for fire and ice. So we're going to do f um, fire, and we are going to put this um, charge target pattern on, and then we can add some damage to it. Um, and I'm pretty sure we unlock these later on. Um, so we will craft this. We have the Charging Fireball. Um, so we will equip that um, here. Um, and this is kind of our this our items. Um, so um, I would love to do it. Um, is there is there a reason why you're not letting me? Um, there we go. Um, so yeah. There we go. Uh, charging fireball. There we are. Awesome. Okay. So, this is our fireball, um, firestorm, and flame barrier. Um, so, you see we have we have three spells that we can kind of change around. Um, I'm going to craft a barrier. So, let's go defense. Um, doesn't seem to act... Doesn't actually let me use the, the barrier type. That sucks. Um, so, let's try this again. Um, so, we'll do barrier pattern, AoE pattern, and... We will do mastery um, and synthesize that. Um, enlarge mastery, sure. Um, so this gives us more mastery. So <coughs> as you can see, this is the basis of our crafting system. It's very light right now, um, but I, I definitely see promise with this, and I think people are really going to like this aspect. Um, the way I've told it is, friends, it's, it's like first-person single-player magicka, uh, where you can you know you can combine your own spell effects together and make. More powerful spells, basically. So good. Um, so let's take a look at our spell that we crafted, right? So this is our new spell. And it's got a nice little explosion um, going on there. In my off-camera play, I made a, like, a homing ice bolt, which was really cool. And we will... We'll just continue to spam this as much as we can, and just keep on backing up. Um, this doesn't seem to be doing as much damage. We we did get a little bit of uh, uh, damage there. They do have an AOE themselves. Um, we are actually doing more damage. Um, I will try to charge this up. Um, so that's nice to see. I really, really like um, <clears throat> seeing like the foliage burn. Um, and we did get a little bit of hit. Um, I think we lit him on fire, and he's dead. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to show off. I, there is a point where I know I will end this. Um, <clears throat> we are going to just continue to back up here. Um, um, hopefully I, I showed off the... the I'm, I'll do one more weapon crafting because I don't necessarily feel like I showed that off to the best of my ability. Um, we'll try to make like an epic, an epic spell, as, or as epic as we can make it after we, um, you know break these things down um so there we go um it seems like i'm doing more damage the more this hits which is cool um so <coughs> a lot of variety uh, right off the bat which is great um i i've long said I, i've wanted a first person caster game like this and now it's here and I, I was really excited to try this at pax i didn't get a chance um one of their guys actually came to the booth that i was working in and gave me and a few of us a copy um so just Really, really pleased with, with everything that I see here. Um, it's a little clunky still, I think, um, in a lot of aspects. It is a pre-alpha, so I under I understand that it's a little clunky. Um, like I said, combat just kind of feels like stay at a distance and, and, you know, and bash them. It doesn't quite feel epic and badass. Um, it just feels like I'm, I'm playing a first-person shooter, but with magic instead of bullets. Um, and, that you know, that's cool. Um, you know, I, I can't... Um, I can't complain too much. Um, so we will synthesize and we will make enlarged destruction. And then we'll um, do um, maybe enlarged control. And then we will see what happens when we do that. Um, oh, it didn't make enlarged control. So we'll do destructive control. <clears throat> um, 
which is two control, one destruction. Um, so, really cool. Um, so we'll do enlarge destruction and then enlarge mastery and en destructive control. <laughs> Apologies. So this is three different, <clears throat> you know, uncommons. And I'm pretty sure that makes a rare. Um, yeah, rare shape, volatile barrier, or rare augment. Focus destruction to volatility. Um, so we'll definitely we'll definitely go with that. Um, and then we'll take fireball, and then we'll do this first destruction, um, and then we'll do this. Um, this targeted. All right, let's do targeted pattern, um, and then we can just kind of like do that. So let's do, and we can, you know, we don't have to drag them. We can click them. Um, so let's synthesize this and see what it makes us. And, um, sure. Um, so impacting targeted pattern, fireball, and force destruction, and we'll see what we get out of this. Um, uncommon shape impact barrier pattern. Um, spell properties. Um, so we've kind of make, like, made like this 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 um non this like defensive spell um which I think has a lot of again a lot of variety um so we will definitely do that and we'll equip that as our ice spell um and then this will do the ice this will be our new ice barrier um and we'll do this. Um. And we'll see if that, that changed anything. So it changed our barrier. <clears throat> um, so we can hold this up and... Um, the, the one thing I don't like is if, if we can hit tab to do this, this AoE spell, <coughs> um, I would like to be able to hold up my defensive barrier and, and hit. Um, that is one thing because if we hold down the barrier and then we hit the attack button, it, it gives us this, this AoE spell. Um, <clears throat> and I, I don't know if that's intended or if that's going to be changed, but I would personally like it if we could be on the defensive and cast at the same time so that we can kind of wade into combat and actually be a badass. Um, so we're just going to sit, you know, at range, and we'll probably just use our, our fireball. Um, it's definitely our strongest spell. Um, so, there, it is randomized, the effects, <clears throat> so it kind of has, like, this Diablo-esque bit to it. Um, which is cool, you know, again, it's, it's not exactly kind of what I would, what I expected, um, from, from this. I, 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 I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, and I, I'm pleasantly surprised by, by what I got. I can't say that I hate it. Um, so, you know, that's good. Um, so we're gonna, you know, go on the defensive and, and stay back and... The assassins are pretty cool. Um, I like the enemy design. I wish they would, you know, not be trying to beat us in the head, um, so that I can show you guys, you know, what they look like a little bit more. They, they kind of look like, you know, typical, you know, assassins. Um, and you know, we get random drops too, so we have some pretty good, pr pretty good loot from killing those guys. Um, I'm gonna finish off the ginger beer now. Um, and there are definitely floaties of ginger in this, so if um, articulate is a turnoff for you, don't get this. It is good. Um, I think Krabby's is better. <laughs> this has a more burny aspect to it, which I like in Ginger, so... Um, it's good. I would also like to see, like, a sigil that changes our... Um... Our dash. Being able to, to change how we move on our dodge would be really cool. Um... I think that's really kind of of all that I have to say um, with this version. I'm sure to do another indie brew as this goes. Um, you know, I have a copy. I'll definitely be checking back every update. Um, and yeah, I, I really like what I've played. I think it looks great. It plays more or less great. There is, you know, combat's a little clunky. The dash is a little clunky. Um, and I'm getting a little comfortable now. Um, I apologize. Let me sit up. <coughs> the storyline, I, I can't really, you know, I, I really didn't bother to read it the first time or the second time. I'm sure it'll be more engrossing. There doesn't seem to be voice acting right now. Um, even though I have dialogue turned way up, <clears throat> there just doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to be in. Um, so that's a bummer. That's definitely coming. Um, there you go. Um, and we... Got a mastery. 
not the best drop, but, um, you know, what are you gonna do? I really like the, the feel of the game, and I like the enemies, I think, I, oh, you know, overall, I, I definitely think that there's, oh, um, sorry, um, the, the, if you guys see any, like, weird frame discrepancies, that's actually a problem with XSplit in this game. Um, they don't actually behave, um, so I will preface that by saying that some of some of the framiness and glitchiness um, is not on the game's end. It is just, you know, a product of, of how this is being recorded, um, so I apologize. Um, this has been a strange episode. Uh, we did actually kill him, which is nice. And it looks like it has a color-coded rarity system. You know, blue is, is uncommon. I imagine red is, un is rare. Um, and there is a, a, a caster as well, <clears throat> um, as you know. You can't be the only one with nice things. The enemies need nice things too, um, so. There, like I said, there doesn't seem to be a jump, so. <clears throat> I would like, like I said, better dashes and more interesting dashes that don't just give you this, this, this AoE. <clears throat> But other other than that, I'm I'm happy with with what I see. Um, so this this has been hopefully a, a positive review. Um, and this is this is where we're gonna leave it off. Um, <clears throat> but I I think it looks really good. <clears throat> this is a cutscene basically, which I don't want to showcase because it's it's really kind of glitchy and ugly looking. Um, but it's a, it's it's because mostly it's it's, it's pre-alpha. Um, and the character just kind of, like, freaks out. Um, so, I'm gonna leave this here, guys. Um, I really like Lichten Battle Mage. I'm really looking forward to seeing it progress and, and move out of its early access. You can get it on Steam right now. Um, I, I would suggest probably holding off until another update or two. Um, I, I hate to say, you know, don't buy it. Um, because I, I think you should buy it. I really like this game a whole lot. Um, and it's got a lot of promise and a lot of glit and glam. It looks beautiful. It plays more, like I said, more or less okay right now. Um, I can see where they are intending to go with the game. So I, I feel confident in, in saying it's got a little bit, you know, it, it's got the promise and it's it's got that, that like I said, glitz and glam that really makes me think it's going to succeed and be a lot of fun to play. Um, I don't know if there's going to be other modes. PvP in this game would be a lot of fun, I think. Um... And yeah, over, overall, I think this is, is a, a well-polished pre-alpha. I mean, and it's a pre-alpha, again, it, it's pretty polished for a pre-alpha, so... Um, like I said, I'd probably hold off. Um, if you really like what you see, then definitely get the game. But I would, I'd probably wait for a f until it goes into a little bit more of an actual alpha state. Um, but definitely get this game when it comes out in full release. I definitely endorse it, and I'm I, again, I will definitely cover this again. <coughs> Apologies. Um, when it comes out in a, in a more complete state, um, hopefully with voice acting in the cutscenes, not player M. Um, I imagine that's just some programming thing, uh, like placeholder, you know, for the name, um, which will hopefully make following the storyline a little bit easier. <coughs> um, the text is a little weird. It's not quite integrated into the game, or doesn't appear to it to be. Um, the augment select screen is a little bit hard to read. I'm just rattling off the things that I think need to be improved. Um, and yeah, the, the dodging, again, is a little clunky. The combat itself is kind of protracted and and doesn't quite showcase how badass we are. And again, we're in the opening levels of the game, so it's kind of hard to, to, to make a full impression. Um, but I definitely don't immediately think, oh, I'm a badass mage. I feel... I mean, I got three, basically I have three hit points if I'm not careful, and I stay away and just, you know, spam spells. Um, so I, I feel like a mage still. Um, I don't feel like this awesome battle mage um, that they want me to be. Um, some things I would like to see is, like, augments is a, maybe an actual, like, flaming sword that you can kind of, like, swing around and, um, like, actually swing around, you know, and stab. Um... You know, dual channeling being more interesting, maybe not like a circle AoE, but like a channeled, like, gigantic plume of fire. Um, I, I just, I think the possibility of spells is, is, is really interesting, and they could make so much, I would like to see other elements, I'm sure that they're in there, like, lightning and poison and, you know, magma instead of just fire. Um, 
more persistent spell effects as well um would be cool to see um like debuffs and and um dots and you know inv- like you know forming like big gouts of you know molten earth then firewalls i think you know, i again I, I really think that the options for this game if they so choose are are endless and i i'm really excited about that um so this was another episode guys not quite beer not quite indie who knows but the not quite indie brew series uh continues um with another really cool game um i'm really glad to have gotten my hands on this uh big thanks to the the developers for handing out get, uh, codes for this i'm sure there'll be a lot of reviews um that'll probably go beyond this point um and i i think you know cool game really cool game and uh great beer <laughs> So that has been Indie Brew, guys. Uh, I will talk to you in the next episode.